Okay, welcome back to another uh, Rates of Change exam question. This one is from 2015. Uh, an oil spill occurs offshore in an area of calm water with no currents. The oil is spilling at a rate, we have a rate straight away, of 4 by 10 to the 6 cubic centimetres per minute. The oil floats on top of the water. Complete the table below to show the total volume of oil uh, on the water after each of the first six minutes. So um, the volume is by 10 to the 6. So it's doing 4 by 10 to the 6 every minute. So it's just 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24. And it's by 10 to the 6 uh, cubic centimetres per minute. Um, draw a graph to show this. So we're just filling in at 1, 4, 2, 8, 3, 12, 4, 16, 5, 20, there, and 6, 24. Okay, then just join the lines there. Let me get my ruler. And there you go. Uh, write an equation for VT in the, for the volume of the oil on the water after T minutes. So the volume VT is just equal to 4 by 10 to the power of 6 times our time T minutes. Spilled oil forms a circular oil slick 1 millimeter thick. That's highlighted there. That's in bold because it's just uh, notes in that we were dealing in centimetres, now we're in millimetres. Uh, write an equation for the volume of the oil slick in cubic centimetres when the radius is or uh, centimetres. So volume is equal to pi r squared h because it's a, a cylinder, a very, very thin cylinder, but it's a circle with height, so it's pi r squared h. So that's equal to pi r squared. Now the height is one millimetre in centimetres, that's 0 0.1. So that's equal to... Uh, v equal to 0 0.1 pi or squared centimetres uh, or cubic centimetres. Okay, so then on to our rates of change parts then. And there's two of them in this question. Um, so the first one is saying find the rate in centimetres per minute at which the, the radius of the oil slick is increasing when the radius is 50 meters. So we want uh, the rate at which the radius is increasing. So that would be D or DT. Okay, so when I am doing a rates change question, I'll get my D or DT and I wanna make my chain rule formula. So I take my D or DT and I split it up as D or DT. And then I have a look at the question and I think, what else is in the question um, that I can use in here? And the thing that is in the question is volume. Volume is given here. So I'm gonna put in dV here and here. Okay, so now I have dV um, in both of them. So d or dV times dV dt. Now, um, do I have any of them? I do, I have dV dt already dv dt is the rate of change of volume with respect to time, and that's the 4 by 10 to the 6. Now, what about d or dv? Well, that's a radius and volume, so I could use the volume formula for this, and the volume formula I have from the last part, the volume formula is here. v is equal to 0 0.1 pi r squared. So v is equal to 0 0.1 pi or squared. Now I differentiate, so differentiate with respect to or, so dv d or, 2 by 0 0.1 is 0 0.2 pi or. So that's dv d or, but I'm looking for d or dv, so I need to invert it. So I can say therefore d or dv is equal to 1 over that, 1 over 0 0.2 pi or. And then I can go and fill this in. So d or dv, 1 over 0 0.2 pi or times dv dt, which is 4 by 10 to the 6. 
so I can put that together and say d or dt is equal to 4 by 10 to the 6 over 0 0.2 pi or. Now I want it at uh, the radius of 50 meters. Now at 50 meters, we need to put it in centimeters because we've been dealing in centimeters. Um, so centimeters is uh, 50 meters is 5,000 centimeters. So d or dt now, d or dt is equal to 4 by 10 to the 6 over 0 0.2 pi times 5,000. And pop that into your calculator and you should end up getting 1,273.3 centimeters per minute. Okay, on to the next part then. Show that the area of water covered by the oil slick is increasing at a constant rate of 4 by 10 to the 7 square centimetres per minute. So this is the area of water uh, covered by the oil slick. So the area would be dA dt. So again, I'm going to take my dA dt and split it up like this, dA dt. And now have a think, what, um, what do I have? Uh, that I can use. Well, it's going to be radius again because I'm dealing about, I'm looking at area of a circle here. So it's going to be d or and d or. So do I have either of these? Well, I do. I have one from the last question. I have d or dt. There's d or dt there. So I can use that in there. Now I just need to find d a d or so to find d a d or i'm going to use radius how can i relate area and radius well the area of a circle is pi r squared i can differentiate that to get d a d or so that's equal to 2 pi r so now i have d a d or so i can fill them both in d a d t now is equal to 2 pi r multiplied by 4 by 10 to the 6 over 0 0.2 pi or. So straight away, I have some things cancelling out here. Uh, I have pi or cancelling with that pi or there. So I have 2 by 4 by 10 to the 6. That's equal to 8 by 10 to the 6. And I'm going to divide that by 0 0.2. And we can get a calculator there. Uh, 8 by 10 to the 6 uh, divided by 0 0.2 is 4 by 10 to the 7, 7 zeros there. So that's equal to 4 by 10 to the 7. And the units are cent square centimeters per minute. Um, and that's what we were asked to find there. So 4 by 10 to the 7. And then the last uh, bit of the question, uh, not really a, a rate of change uh, relevant part, but just to, to get it done anyway. So the nearest land is one kilometre from the point at which the oil spill began. Find how long it will take for the oil slick to reach land and give your answer correct to the nearest hour. So if um, if the oil or if the land is one kilometre away, we can find the area of the oil slick at that time. So area is pi r squared. So that's equal to pi times. Now we're going to put it into um, centimetres rather than kilometres or, or metres even. So it's 10 to the 5 centimetres squared, which is equal to pi by 10 to the 10. Uh, then to find the time uh, it takes, what we do is we divide the area. Pi by 10 to the 10. We divide that by uh, the rate. Uh, that we got in the last part, which is 4 by 10 to the 7. And that works out at 785.398. That'll be in minutes. minutes. They want it in hours. So that's approximately to the nearest hour, 13 hours. Okay, so 
um, just to go over um, rates of change questions. Um, it's all based on the chain rule and you have to make up the chain rule yourself. Find out what you want the rate to change of and then make it the way I did there. Okay, uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.